This is the MFISH E-Tank power station, a 240 watt power station which can power all your devices. It has RGB lighting, which changes color with the touch of a button on the side. There are four USB Type-C ports on the other side, of which one has an output of 140 watts, one at 100 watts, and two at 30 watts. Let's take a look at the inside. To take it apart, 12 T6 or Torx 6 screws need to be removed. The four rubber stands on the bottom need to be removed. Four triangle screws are revealed which also need to be removed. Here's a look at the inside. Two additional triangle screws need to be removed. Since the board is soldered down and there isn't a lot of room to work with, I'll be cutting the power cable to get it out of the way. And this is the plastic housing, as well as the plastic covers of the outlets. Here's a better look at this board. One thing to note is that they use solid copper wires. So it's made of higher quality and it's more reliable. These are the LEDs for the button on the side, which switches the light colors. And this coil right here is what detects the touches on the button. These are the power plugs on top, with the LED lights around them and these bottom grounds are made of solid copper. On this board there's a lot of thermal gel and potting compound. And here's a look underneath. When it comes to heat transfer or heat dissipation, with this product you definitely don't have to worry. And here's a look at the main PCB with most of the potting compound removed. The daughter board is attached to this PCB with the USB-C outputs for charging with solid polymer capacitors which have a better temperature tolerance, as well as a longer lifespan, and a really good overall build quality, this should last for a very long time. So if you want a cool looking and powerful power station, get yourself an MFISH E-Tank. I'll place links in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.